Seriously, man, if you need to go park in the car, get a lovey dovey with Andy, I'll tell you what you need. Some old school elegance. Take the caddy. I already got a car. Yeah, you have a hybrid, which is fine for saving the earth. But if you want to make the earth move, let me tell you what you need. You need a mahogany dash, all right? You need those twin tube shocks. Smooth ride all the way home. You need that expansive back seat that is going to cradle you and your lady like a soft, velvety womb and never, ever, ever let go. All right, fine. Give me the keys. Wise choice, my friend. Hey, be a pal, fill her up. She's on E. Oh, 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 sorry, it costs like 80 bucks to fill up your tank. How can you talk to me about money right now, Sam? This vehicle is a luxurious trip back to a simpler time when America was number one. Revel in it. Fill it up. Premium. What is the scariest soul you've ever captured? Um, Bug Lady was pretty creepy. Hmm? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, come on, worse than the cannibal? Do we really have to talk about this right now? Well, I mean, I know it's old news to you, but this is exciting for me. So, what kind of vessel did you use for the Bug Lady? Um, defective toaster. Yeah. That is so hot. <laughs> mm. Did you hear that? Well, hear what? I swear I heard something. Hello? Sam, get the lights. Holy crap. OK, Sam, do you have a vessel? I do not. OK, well, start the car. Start the car. I'm so sorry, Sock. I should have taken my own car. Tat, 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 tat. You'd be dead if you were in that tree hugger, OK? Go America. Chainsaw, huh? Was it bolted to his wrist like ash from people dead? No, he was just holding it. Was his face made up of human skin like in a Texas chainsaw? Ben, everybody's face is made of human skin. That is true. Hi, oh, darling. Hey. Hi, guys. Um, I don't mean to be a nudge about this, but um, well, you left the house without making the bed this morning, so again. <laughs> but I don't even sleep in the bed. I sleep on a yoga mat in the kitchen. I know I nearly tripped over that. <laughs> so if you could be a little dove and just clear up after yourself a bit more, it'd be great. <laughs> Love you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. You want this? Oh, it's so sweet. The newly married, so fresh and exciting, so okay. new. OK, OK, OK. Sam, are you sure the devil didn't say anything about an escaped soul with a chainsaw? I haven't even talked to him. You know what, I, for one, I'm not going to stand by and witness this desecration of the Sockmobile go unpunished. Someone will pay. What's this? That is a repair estimate for my car. Four grand. I know it seems pricey, but she's a caddy. I only trust the dealership. A soul came after me last night, and I kind of never got the vessel. Probably just a mix-up. We don't have mix-ups. Mm, that's interesting. I don't have insurance. So. Any of these look familiar? No way. Hell's Most Wanted? We have a few outstanding cases. You suspect in there or not? No, I mean, I don't think so. He had a mask That's on. That's not my problem. Chalk it up to a random act of violence committed by a regular run-of-the-mill living human. It happens. 
We live in a sick world. Have a nice day. Next! Yep. I... This isn't over, Gladys. This is not over. Where are we still reading? Is that Greg? What? Greg? Andy's ex-boyfriend, Greg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's better looking than I remember. Good hair. That's probably nothing. He broke up a while ago. I'm sure he's just shopping. Oh, yeah. Guys, I got your boy. Hey. Oh. That's the guy. Where would you get this? Who is he? Dude, it's bad news. He's killed over 30 people. He chopped them up into little pieces. Jeez. Oh, yeah, those are... And kill saw one, two, and three, and in straight the video four, five, and six. Oh, yeah. Boy, he's from a movie? Yep. Maybe Glass was right. Looks like it. Sorry about that, he just showed up. Oh, it's okay. What's going on? Uh, some family crisis, you know. He's just really upset. Greg's folks are kind of nuts. Yeah. But he just wants to get together for coffee tonight, you know, just to talk. But I totally understand if you don't want me to go. No, no, that's okay. Go ahead, I, I trust you. Um, I feel bad for the guy myself. I know what he's missing. <laughs> okay. Whoa, are you getting sick? Um, are you? Wearing perfume today? Oh, God, it's probably Greg's cologne. He, like, drowns himself in it. That's attractive. Now tell me about it. OK, well, I'll just give you a call tonight, then. Around 9? Nine? 9 o'clock. OK, right. bye. Dr. Benson to oncology, please. It's Dr. so Benson great to see you, Cassidy. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can ask me anything. This is the fifth date in a row that we've had at the hospital cafeteria. How come we don't go anywhere in public? You know, someplace with, like, menus. This is fun. Isn't this fun? Look, put pudding cups. It's like we're having a picnic. Uh-huh. I was just wondering if you were hiding something and if it had anything to do with that wedding ring you're wearing. Oh, I forgot I had that on. OK, Cassidy, I... Go on. I am all ears. OK, it's a green card marriage. Her name's Sarah. We work together. And if she didn't get married, she was going to get sent back to Manchester. It, it's in England. Yeah, I know where it is. All right, look. I'll understand if you never want to see me again. But you got to know, this is a fake marriage. And I would have never done anything like this if I'd known I'd meet someone like you. So. You realize that you're asking me to be your mistress? Yes. Yes, if we, if we have to label it, yes. And if I agree to this, then we have to go someplace new with, like, a waiter and a liquor license. Anywhere? Yes. Andy, hi. Uh, it's me calling to just say hi. You're out with Greg. I know. It's, uh, it's all good. Um, so I guess I'll just I'll, I'll call you back in a while. You said you were going to call at 9. It's seven minutes after. But uh, all right, bye. Eight minutes after now, so. <laughs> Evening. Beautiful night, huh? For you. Is this the vessel? It's a present. Why? I just thought you might need it sometime. Wait, wait, so the chainsaw guy who attacked me, is he a soul or not? I haven't heard anything about any chainsaw guy. I suppose it's just one of those crazies out there, you know? Mental illness is a growing problem, Sammy. Oh, you gotta love this neighborhood. Don't even lock their doors. Whose house is this? You know what I've been thinking about lately, Sam? Trust, honesty, integrity. I don't like those words, not one little bit. 
What are we doing here? You know why I hate them? They're fraudulent. People say them willy-nilly. They don't mean them. You feel me? No, I don't. I show you this because I care. And also, I kind of enjoy it. Sam! Whoa, take it easy, man. Don't do anything crazy. Andy, what? Please put down the knife. Please. I'll be right back. Sam, wait! Please, Sam! Annie, what were you... You were kissing him! I don't even know what happened, okay? I mean, one second we're talking and the next I... How could you do... This doesn't make sense! Sam, I don't even know what's going on, okay? I don't even know how I got here. Please, you have to believe me. It's like... temporary insanity or something. Let's just get out of here. I'm telling you, it's the devil. It's gotta be. He's screwing with me again. Yeah, are you sure about that? Andy was making out with Greg. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a natural occurrence. What'd you do? What? What did you do wrong? Clearly, you did something to drive Andy into Greg's arms, those big, handsome, muscular arms. I did not. Think about it, Sam. Women don't always tell you when you screw up. They like to give nonverbal cues. I.e., making out with another dude. There was no nonverbal anything, all right? I'm a... I'm a good boyfriend. I'm, I'm caring. I'm sensitive. I'm well, no, that's your problem right there. Sensitive, mm -hmm. Sam? Really? <laughs> no, no. Oh, so naive. Chicks do not want sensitive, okay? They want a bad boy. They want someone who's gonna break all the rules. Someone who will bang them on the back of a motorcycle and then not do the dishes. A bad boy. Like Greg. Yeah. Mm, devil may have had something to do with this one. Good morning, people. I would like to start the staff meeting on a happy note. We have a little bit of exciting news. Mm, you finally moved out of your mom's house. <laughs> mm. Very witty, Bert. But no, this news actually has nothing to do with me, for once. Sarah has an announcement to make, won't you? Come on down to the... Thank you. Hello. Um, as you know, Ben and I recently got married. Mm. And um, I'm very happy to announce I'm pregnant. <gasps> My husband and I are having a baby. You hit that? No, I did not. Oh, okay. Thank you. Whoa. Are you crazy? Why are you telling people you're pregnant? Because we are pregnant, silly. But we didn't do... Not even a little. No, don't be ridiculous. Esteban's the father. Who the hell is Esteban? My boyfriend. You need to keep up, my sweetie. <laughs> Wait a minute, you have a boyfriend now? Well, for four years. It, it travels a great deal, but part of the circuit de Soleil, obviously. Why don't you have him marry you? Because he has commitment issues. Plus, he's technically married. Now, look, you have no right to be angry at me, Ben. Angry? No, no. I'm not angry. I'm happy, actually. This is great. I'm actually seeing someone, too. Cassidy, the girl I told you about. Uh, no, I don't think so. What? We cannot risk exposure with immigration. But you have a boyfriend. It's the same thing. Esteban is far more discreet and responsible. He's the catcher on the trapeze. You're crazy. That's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It seems unfair, but you made a commitment to me, and that also means a commitment to what's inside of me. You hold my life and little Esteban's life in your hands. We need you, Ben. <sighs> Hey, you. Hey, Greg. You know, I can't really talk to you right now, especially after last night. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about that. How about you and me go get some coffee? Yeah, you know what? Coffee sounds great. Um, just let me finish my count here, and then we'll be out, OK? 
I wish you hadn't left so fast last night. I really thought we were making a connection. Yeah, me too. I'm glad. I'm a little relieved that Sarah's bun didn't come out of my oven, if you know what I'm talking about. How could it possibly be yours? Well, Ben, let's just say I had a very vivid dream, and we'll leave it at that, OK? Definitely a soul. It has definitely got it out for you. Or my car. Open table. Betcha, come on. Open table. Oh, oh. Whoa, easy there, champ. You don't want to look like a jumper. <laughs> oh, Nestrovia. <laughs> the chainsaw guy isn't a person. He's a soul, and he's trying to kill me. Seriously? Where? Yeah. Hey, check out the view, huh? What the hell am I supposed to do? When do I get a vessel? I'll look into it, I promise. Hey, Sammy, you want to see something really weird? Check it out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I know. What a dick, huh? I got an idea. Kill him. The shot's already lined up. What? No, I'm not gonna sh... You are involved in this. Guilty as charged. I knew it. I knew she'd never go back out with that douchebag. What the hell did you do to her? I didn't do anything to Andy. I may have done something to Greg, for Greg, actually. I bought his soul. What? <laughs> yeah, you're right about him, Sammy. What a dope that guy is. Terrible negotiator. Why? Well, the poor kid was brokenhearted over your girl down there. He wanted to acquire the power to convince her to date him. Kind of a Jedi mind trick. OK, easy enough. Wish granted. And in exchange, I get his soul. I can't believe that. I, I can't believe you would do this. Oh, come off it. What's so awful? You know there's always a catch in a deal with me. What, what does that even mean? It means that things aren't what they appear to be. Figure it out. You may still get Andy back. Cancel it. Undo it. Just undo it right now. Sadly, all sales are final. <laughs> oh, you do have one other option. Kill him. No. Why not? Greg's fate is already sealed. He dies. The spell is broken. You get the girl, I get the soul. Win, win, win. No, no. I'm not going to shoot anybody. When are you going to learn? The only person playing by the rules is you. Buddy, how's it hanging? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, baby, you got a cold? It's your stupid cologne. Now, will you go away so I can talk to my girlfriend? Actually, Andy has something she needs to tell you. Go ahead, Andy. I'm here to support you. Sam, I have to break up with you. I don't believe this. Just, I care about you so much. It's not you, Sam. It's, it's me. No, it's not, Andy. It's Greg. He sold his soul to the devil. What? No, that's, that's crazy. I know, Greg. I talked to him, OK? Only a jerk like you would make a deal with him. 
He's got some weird mind control thing over you. He's making you like him. Is this true? Doesn't matter, Andy. All you care about is me. Sam, I have to break up with you. Sold his soul to the devil. That's how he's making Andy go out with him. Wow. Who knew? Greg's got balls. Sock. What? I'm sorry. I'm impressed with him. Dude's in it to win it. Everything's screwed up. Everything's completely out of control. Ah, oh, don't be so dramatic. Come on. Clock out. We're leaving. Uh, kind of in the middle of something here, Sammy. I need to get the vessel for this soul. We're going to Gladys's. Let's go. Glad bags? All right. Oh, good. You're back. It's not a crazy person, Gladys. It's a soul. I have no record. I don't care what your stupid clipboard says, OK? A soul with a chainsaw is trying to kill me. Now, you better figure out what's going on, or I'm going to bust in here myself with my own chainsaw and see how you like it. I need a vessel. OK, all right. We're OK. Bullying me will never work. I do, however, respond to bribes. OK, OK, OK. Now we are making some progress here. We don't have any money. I'm going to Acapulco next week. I need someone to watch over my cat. OK, now by cat, do you mean cat or do you mean some kind of dragon? She's a Persian. Her name is Fancy. Fancy. Sure, yeah. Then you'll give us a vessel. I can't, but I know a guy who might be able to help. Keep vessels in mini storage? This is a portal to hell. Really? It doesn't look that evil. There are 13 bodies hidden in these units alone. OK. Manager's name is Dennis. I got to warn you, he's a little squirrely. A few too many years spent down in the ninth circle, if you know what I mean. Let me do the talking. Gladys, what's up, baby bird? Nice to see you, mm. Dennis. These two need a vessel. Cool. Any friend of Gladys? No, they're not friends. Sam here is a bounty hunter. Works directly for Lucifer. Oh, hey, man. I like, you know, I can't really get involved with all that. You dig? No, no, I don't need you to get involved. I just need a vessel to capture a soul that's trying to kill me. Right, right. It's just, I like, kind of have a sweet deal up here, you know? Cut the kid some slack, right. huh? His parents sold his soul out from under him. No way. Oh, it's a bummer. All right. I got something for you. Took a lot of bartering to get my hands on this puppy. You're going to love it. Dennis prides himself on working the system. If there's a loophole, he'll find it. You got any way to make Sam's girlfriend stop dating her ex? I don't follow. Forget it. It's just the devil bought this guy's soul, and now he's making my girlfriend love him. Oh, I can't happen, man. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah, it can. It's happening right now. Oh, the boss can do lots of whacked out crap. He can trick almost anybody into anything, but he's got no dominion over the human heart, bro. Devil can't undo true love. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, watch where you aim that, Tex. This vessel will send anything to hell. Uh, soul, live body, freaking space needle, man. Guaranteed. Whatever you say. Look, man, all my customers are satisfied. OK? OK. All right. Heads up. How you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, secret boyfriend. It's kind of sick. 
I'm totally getting into this whole affair thing. All the excitement of being the other woman, none of the guilt. My wife's pregnant. It's not mine. She's got this other boyfriend, a circus guy. It's his kid and she's going around telling everyone it's mine. Wow. Seriously messed up. I know. Next time I marry for cash, I'm charging triple. Look, um, I guess this is our last non-date. Wait, why can't we see each other? I made a commitment. I made a commitment to a crazy woman. I'm very afraid, and I have to live up to it. I'm sorry. Ben. All right, a little bit of spackle and a uh, few coats of the uh, bench's finest ultra gloss and uh, it still looks like crap. You know what, you know what, Sam? I don't need that negativity right now. Look what you did to my car. Okay, okay. You know what? I got some good news. I know how to get Andy back. I'm intrigued, brief me. All right, so the devil has no power over true love, right? Okay. And the devil says there's always a catch when you make a deal with him. Obviously. That's the catch. No matter what Greg does to Andy, he can't stop her loving me. I just have to remind her of that. I can't lose. Back up. Uh, Andy loves you? Oh, well, of course she does. She said that. I, uh, not in words. OK, because uh, no offense or anything, but I've known you for, what, 14 years? And uh, I only sort of like you. You can be pretty irritating. I'm sorry, but. See, because I love these shoes. Love is a complicated emotion, Sam, full of tingly feelings and frustration and anger. There you are. Hey. Hey. Uh, is everything all right? Uh, uh it, it will be, hopefully. OK, what's up? OK. Uh, so I need to ask you a question, Andy. And it might sound kind of weird just asking outright, but I got to do it. Sure. Um, this is the kind of thing that you, you probably need to come to on your own. And I don't want to force the issue, but I, I really need to know, like, like right now. Do you love me? Yeah, I think I love you. That's yeah. great. This is. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> okay, um, because the devil, he's kind of given Greg this whole Jedi mind trick power. Okay, all right, all right here, here's the plan, here's the plan. Okay. You gotta get Greg out of your head, okay? You can't talk to him, you can't see him, you gotta fight him off. But he knows where I work. We will get new jobs. But he knows where I live. Then we'll run away together. You like Buffalo? No way will he find us in <laughs> Buffalo. I, I hear the winners are murder. No, 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 hang up. Oh. Hello? It's Greg. Hi. No. Yeah, no, I can't talk right now. I, I know we're supposed to have lunch, but what? Oh, that was Sam. No, what are you? you... Yeah, we were just talking about how we were going to run away together to uh, Buffalo. <laughs> unbelievable. Whoa, no, I'm not trying to upset you. Greg, hold on. Don't get so mad. Sorry, OK? I just don't. What? <gasps> Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> Seriously, you're screwed here. 
You asked that. Isn't a soul? That is great. Yeah, isn't it great? Uh, barkeep, a round of drinks for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I just didn't want to spoil it. It was too good. Oh, by the way, technically it isn't Greg. It's more like his it, you know, all the pet up rage. And I had it manifest itself as the killer in his favorite slasher film. You made that happen? Yeah. I thought it was a nice touch. Although I'm not sure old Greg even knows it's him. <laughs> boy, oh boy. You know, I'm usually not one to pat myself on the back, but sometimes you just nail it, you know? Pure poetry. What are you talking about? Well, just think about it. Even if you and Andy vow never to see each other again, Andy will still love you, Greg will still get angry, and sooner or later, Andy will get hacked up by a chainsaw. No, no. W w Unless you put a stop to it. Because now, you truly, really have only one option. All roads lead to killing Greg. It's the only way to save yourself, save your girl. Kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Greg. Why is Greg calling you? He's not. I took Andy's phone and sent her home. I can't let that guy into her head again. Are we gonna do this or what? It's go time. All right, all right, let's do this. A shotgun? It's all my dad had. He likes to hunt. It's gonna blow his head off. That's what the plastic is for. Let's go. Stop like a ninja. Give me the ammo. Okay. Okay. I think maybe you did that wrong. Mm -hmm. Ammo. Again? Ben, what the hell kind of ammo did you buy? I didn't ask. Shut, Shut up. up. The guy in the gun shop kept staring at me and freaking me out. I'm not cut out to be a hit man. I saw my grandmother one time snap the neck of a chicken. I cried myself to sleep for a whole month. All right, all right. Pin's right, man. Yeah. We're not killers. The devil wants me to do this. He's trying to corrupt me, make me more like him. Hey. What you guys doing here? Nothing. Just brought you this uh, giant roll of plastic, you know, for spills. I think we need to talk, Sam, don't you? I could, I could chat. <clears throat> so, you gonna offer us anything to drink? No. Fine. I'm gonna give you some advice, Sam. Walk away. You're never gonna win Andy back. I've got the devil on my side. See, that's the thing, Greg. The devil isn't on anyone's side. The devil's on the devil's side. Period. It's true. There's always a catch. The devil made Andy love you, right? Did you think to ask him to make her stop loving me? She still loves you? Crap. So if Andy still loves you, that means we'll never be happy together, and I gave away my soul for nothing? Bingo. See? He's not that dumb. Oh, I screwed up everything. I'm, I'm stupid, stupid, stupid. Whoa, don't hit yourself. No call for that. I always do this kind of stuff. Damn it, damn it, damn it. OK, just chill, man. Dad was right. I make one boneheaded move after another. I failed my driving test 17 times. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I sent money to six Nigerian princesses, and I've never met one of them. You're, you're trusting. Yeah. I made a pass at my stepmother. Oh. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe we should go. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Oh! 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 It's you! No, 
stronger. You have to calm down. Ah! I just let it come. I'm pathetic. No, you're not. Look, 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 look. You have a trophy. Yeah, it's for attendance. Oh. Greg, everybody makes the mistakes, OK? Look at me. I once got paid for a green card marriage, and now I can't be with the woman of my dreams. And so help me, if I get the chance to make it out of here alive, I'm going to make it right. But you got to calm your ass down. I can't calm you. Come on, you big monster! Come kill me! I said calm down! Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah. Oh. He's gone, he's gone. Oh, whoa. He does not look good. Hey. Hey. How you feeling? Oh, my head is killing me. Uh, and that makes you feel angry? No. That's gone now. Probably the morphine. Good. Good, that's... That's great. So... I don't suppose there's any way to get out of the deal with the devil. Not that I've been able to figure out. Greg? Oh, my God, look at you. You all right? What happened? He's... he's okay. He's fun. Sam... What happened? Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Andy. Yeah? Can you leave us alone for a second? Okay. Just be outside. You know, I can feel that thing. Right now, getting angry again. Great. Just a matter of time before it starts all over. I'm so stupid. I've always been stupid. Greg, 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 it's okay. It's all right. I gave up my soul for one night of over the close heavy petting. It's a lot of sacrifice. Eternity. Maybe you're not as stupid as you think you are. Everything happens for a reason, so I, I know this is... Interesting what have we here? It's okay. This is my girlfriend. Hi. Hello, is she now? Well, we both know that isn't allowed. Perhaps I haven't been clear. Well, now I'm gonna be clear. If you're free to date in this marriage, I am too. If you're free to get pregnant, good for you. My, my, my. When did we acquire testes? Yesterday. Yesterday. Now I'm going to say it again. This is my girlfriend. Uh, try to be discreet. Excuse me. This is awkward. Sarah, I, I don't know what to say. Clearly, you're husband has no respect for the institution of marriage. Ted, it's not what you think. Then what is it, Ben? You married or did you not? You filed paperwork with the home office or something to that effect? Actually, Ted, um, Ben and I have an understanding. So... I see. I had no idea that you enjoyed the lifestyle. If you ever feel like turning that triangle into a square, just let me know. <laughs> a chaser from my man, Sam. Thanks, but I'm good. Really? Yeah. From where I sit, Looks like your life's still in the crapper. Oh, that's so. Greg is one self-loathing hissy fit away from another chainsaw massacre. Your gal's in danger. You yourself are in danger. It's what we call in the business a classic cluster F. Pretty proud of yourself. <laughs> Pride is my favorite cardinal sin. 
You know what you have to do. Kill Greg? Yeah, oh, say that again. Only this time, use a Russian accent. <laughs> I don't think so. Please. Well, I've been wondering when I'd see that again. Well, it's nice to put a gift to good use. It's not for me. It's for Greg. Come again? I'm canceling your deal with Greg. He won't go to hell, he won't have power over Andy, and the chainsaw maniac goes away. Everything goes back to normal. Tell me I'm wrong. You sure you don't want to use this card for yourself, Sam? Get back to your regular life? It's a lot to give up. No, it's not. Because it wouldn't work for me. There's always a catch, right? You'd find some other way to screw me over. You're wising up, pal. My little boy's becoming a man. So I'm giving it to Greg. And I'm betting even you can't get out of this one. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. You just gave up eternity for a workplace crush. What a sucker. Don't worry about me. There's still plenty of time. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll take my chances. What are you thinking about? Greg. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. He's a tool and he always will be, but still. But what? I mean, he traded his soul for me. It's flattering, but crazy. Kind of romantic, in a way. No, just crazy. Look, shooting star.